Welcome back. I should explore more of this weird island first. More volcanoes will blow up in my face. That doesn't sound right. I'll tell you what sounds right. Using a magic balloon. Protects me from safety. Protects me from safety. That sounds like the opposite. Anyway, since I'm flying, I found out I have to recast Great Light because it's nighttime. And what's this sparkly stuff? Lava! What is lava doing here? Well, there are volcanoes nearby, so it makes sense to have a lava lake in the middle of nowhere. Eh, pretty much your basic... Basic dungeon. Basic island, I should say. Whoa, what's this place? I should discover what it is. I found a nice little outlet. Don't forget to take my balloon with me. Interesting. Ooh, look, a gargoyle sleeping. But a garg folk is dancing on his head. Instead, let's play the xylophone. Whoever knew I was such a skilled xylophone player? Uh, what are these weird glowing things? They look like portals. Or magic stones. And I should actually wait until morning and have a little chat with that gargoyle. I don't think it's going to attack me. So sit down, Shamano. Did somebody forget their food again? Oh well, they don't need it. And hello, gargoyle. He's thin. Oh, we know Captain John. Or does he mean Captain John with an E at the end? And, well, that's all I'm going to get out of this, apparently. Mm-hmm. We'll come back here later, because it is very important. What do you do when you run out of light? Do you get yourself a flashlight? Or do you just stumble around in the dark? Ooh, that looks interesting. This looks very interesting. It looks like some place I should enter. Maybe this is the real Shrine of Diligence. 
Don't forget the balloon! And this could be interesting. As I cast my Dispel Fields. Because I don't want to be shocked. But I have a feeling these books will shock me. Written in an unknown language. Lovely. Oh well, knowledge is for sissies. So I could go over here and help myself to some delicious loot. Well, not really delicious. None of this stuff is a big deal anyway. It's interesting though. What's this thing though? It's nothing special. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe they are items in the PC version that I can take. Extra items. Nonetheless, we should continue on. Well, out of curiosity, how much damage do I take? None, because I can't go through it. So surely this means... Hmm... Is a broken lens. Sounds valuable. I'm taking it. So now that it's broken... I didn't do it. I should find a way to repair it. Does anybody have a good degree in... Repairology? I don't. And just for reference, once I find an actual map, magma being prepared, preposterous. Also, that looks like a dog's face. And it looks like there's two interesting buildings up north. So let's see what's so interesting about these buildings. More little swirly things. And a big vase. It's nothing special. What's with all these arrows? It's like tell me to go in there. And thus leaving gargoyle. So I'll wait until morning. See what this one has to say. Fortunately for you, it only takes me a few seconds. Sleepy Gargo. Uh, I think his friends caught me trying to have a party. Fortunately, it's a good thing our party's strong enough to handle them without worry. I never said they were smart. Cargo is doing all these earthquakes. Or at least that's my theory. Wonder if that woke up our gargoyle friend. Nope. Take a little nap. There he is. Because he lives in a house, he's bound to be sociable. Vernable. Hello, Vernable. I just killed your friends. What are you going to do about it? Apparently not very much. I must be on Gargo Island. I have a feeling I'm really not supposed to be here. But it does make some for some interesting points. As experience points.
Well, this is a nice place to get ambushed. I just got hacked. Hasn't killed. Mmm. I meant to do that. Because when we come back, I'm gonna go through High Loft. Or at least get some new maps. Hang my up key, saying good night. And look out for gargoyles. Thank you, Moon Orb.